Aloha, welcome to Real Talk with Sandy. I'm Sandy Hale, retired nurse and Verdan and Fields consultant for the last seven years. So today's business video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually gonna be um, sharing with you how you can build your Verdan and Fields business with God in the center. So if that's you, if you want to build your business with God, then this is the video for you. If you don't, then this is not the video for you. And I'm gonna share with you the three things to build my business with God. So first, starting off, is you need to know that if you are watching this video, God put this business in your lap. I know that for me. I know that I was praying and hoping and, and asking for a way out of the situation that I was in and he showed up and he gave me this. So you were not meant for average. You were not meant to play small. You were meant to accomplish God-sized things. He has given you a purpose and whatever that purpose may be, understand that through this business, through Redan and Fields, what you can do is fund that purpose. And that is what a lot of consultants have done. So first things first, guys, if you want to build your business with God, you have to commit. And I have some notes here, so I am going to be um, looking up and down for you. All right. So you have to commit to the Lord. Okay. Physically saying and making that promise to him that you are gonna commit to building your business, right? The one that he gave you, in his name. It's you making that commitment with him is what is gonna put things into play. He's gonna bring opportunities. It is 100% up to us to do something with them, right? He can bring this opportunity and if we choose to not do anything with it because we're too afraid or we make excuses, nothing's going to happen. We still have to do our part. But when you commit to him, this is what changes things. A lot of people, including myself, have an easy time breaking promises or commitments with ourselves, right? Like we say, I'm going to do that. And then we don't. And we're just like, oh, shoot. Okay, next time. That's what we do with ourselves. However, when we make a commitment to God, we do not easily just let that go. We know that he knows, right? He's watching, he sees. He can see if you kept your promise or not. And so when you finally make that commitment to him, you will move differently. Your actions will be different. And that is how you need to start this. And I'm gonna share these um, three scriptures with you with committing, committing your business to God. So first is Psalm 37, five, which says, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Second is Proverbs 16.3. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Is Colossians 3 and 23. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. So commit, all right? That is step one. Step two is now work, right? You got to work your redan and fields business. Obedience is key. Obedience is listening and acting swiftly when prompted. So some of you might be saying, well, I don't really uh, hear God. Or some of you might be saying, I don't really know what he sounds like. And I know exactly what you're, uh, where you're coming from. Because seven years ago, I thought the same thing. I was like, hmm, maybe I hear him, maybe I don't. And then, you know, I would think that I would, but I needed somebody to explain to me um, what that was. Well, another consultant um, 
who built her business as well with God, she was the one who said, she said, you know that still small voice that you hear? You know that prompting in your spirit that you feel? That is him speaking to you. And I know if you are watching this video that you have either heard that or felt that. When you ask, when you ask for something and an idea pops in your head, that's him answering. When you are reading something or thinking about something and someone pops into your mind, that's him telling you to reach out to them. So that, when I say that with work you need to be obedient, you need to be obedient when he tells you what you should be doing in your business. To help you strengthen that, uh, that relationship to help you strengthen and hear him clearer you have to build and nurture your relationship with god what that means is if you're going to build your business with him you need to make sure that you're setting aside time so i start my business or i start my day with god that's what i do i wake up in the morning and i actually read a devotion um, i follow joel olstein's daily devotion so i go and i look at what it is so there's a a scripture and then there's a passage and I read that and I meditate on that when I start my day and then when I'm ready to work there are a couple of scriptures which I'm gonna go over with you I say and then I do the work you want to start your day with him and you want to end your day with him Hebrews 11 6 says he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him you want to seek him okay put him in this business and i'm going to share with you how you can actually put him in this business so with redan and fields what are the things that we do we invite people we share we send messages we hold events right we meet new people we meet complete strangers we're talking to them we're finding out how can redan and fields be that answer for them so what you're going to now do differently is you're gonna still do these same activities, but you're going to stand on the word of God. You're going to know what the Bible says and you're going to work with that in mind. So 2 Corinthians 9, 10 says, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Guys, this is what he's saying is you need to put in the actions and you need to put in the activities for every reach out, for every message, for every event that you're holding, you're planting a seed, regardless if the person answers you right away or not, you are planting a seed. Every post that you put on social media, you're planting a seed in someone's mind. You're planting a seed. And a lot of times, he will make sure that the right people see what you're sharing. So while you do this work, ask. Ask God to align the right people. Ask him to send the people whom you can help the ones who are crying out to him, the ones who are looking for a way out of their situation, ask him to make those divine connections. Matthew 9, 38 says, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. That right there is him saying, pray to him and ask him to bring the right people to bring the ones that you can help, to bring the ones that you guys can work together well. You also want to ask God for strategy. I ask, I've asked, this is why I have a YouTube channel. YouTube was not a way that I ever thought I would use to build this business. And just like you, just like in the beginning where I said sometimes um, he speaks to us, but we push it off. And I did. 
it kept popping into my head. He kept placing it on my heart and I was like, mm, that can't be right. Like YouTube, I don't know anything about it. I, I'm not comfortable being in front of the camera. Do I even have anything to share? When you ask for strategy, God knows what you need. He knows how you need to grow. He knows how you need to strengthen certain aspects in order for you to fulfill that purpose that he has for you. So I know doing this YouTube channel, it was because he won, he needed me to, he needed me to be prepared. He needed me to grow and to be comfortable enough to be able to share this and put this out there to the world and not care who was watching it or, or if there were negative um, comments or messages coming back. For me, it took a year for me to actually say, okay, God, I'll do it. I, I let him keep prompting and pushing and, and saying, you need to do this. And it took me a year. So I am here to tell you, be obedient and diligently and swiftly. When he prompts you, do it because it is always going to be for your good. Since he prompted me to do this YouTube channel and I've done it, I've actually gained partners and I've met some really amazing women that I would never had met had it not been for this channel because how else would they have found me? So ask for strategy. He knows what you need, but he also knows where you need to impact. And he will put you exactly where you need to be. Matthew 7, 7 says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Understand that God does business with those who mean business with God. What that means is he will show up for you. If you mean business and you diligently seek him, right? You make time for him. You start your day in the morning with him, spending time with him, praising him, getting to know the word, standing in the word. You go and you do your work. You do this business, your actions, and you're standing on that word. And then when you go to bed and you end the night and you praise him and you thank him, you are diligently seeking him. And he will, he will answer your prayers. The last thing that I want to share with you guys is um, two other scriptures because you need to understand that doing these actions and standing on the word and really asking God to be in this business with you, it is he who promotes you. And in Psalm 75, 6, this is what it says. Promotion comes neither from the east nor west nor from the south. It is God. It is God who judges. He brings one down. He promotes another. And in Daniel 2, 21, it says, And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He will align it for you. So if you add these three things into your business, commit to God, obey, diligently obey. Don't be like me and wait a whole year. When he, when he prompts you to reach out to somebody, if he places somebody on your heart, you need to know that at that moment, he has aligned it. That is the reason why you're being prompted to reach out. He has aligned it for you. Don't wait a day. Don't wait two days because the time will have passed. So commit, obey, stand on his word, believe it. That's what standing on his word means is these scriptures that I've given you, it is, it is written in the Bible that he will do these things. So when you say these things in your prayers, when you recite these scriptures and then do the work, that's you standing on his word. God will show up. He will show up for your business. 
Thank you for joining Real Talk today. Subscribe to my channel. You can share this video. If you are looking for a consultant because you want to join and you want to build your business with God, I would love to be that person. My links are below. You can reach out to me. Until next time, aloha.